Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to Trending Reviews. So I have my iPad Pro here and I recently bought the uh, Apple Pencil. Now I'm going to show you the top five drawing apps for the iPad Pro using the Apple Pencil because this is quite expensive and there's probably a reason why you bought it. Just using it to navigate around the iPad Pro is probably not one of them. So you want to utilize this to the maximum potential. Now I'm no artist myself, but if you like drawing or doodling or actually doing some colored sketches and that kind of stuff and um, really want to use the pencil to its full capability, then uh, here's the top five apps which I think are really good for, for drawing, sketching, doodling and that kind of stuff. So let's just get straight into it. I remember those days we were young and had nothing to do. I used to pick you up and drive to all right guys, so uh, I'm gonna list you the uh, top five apps for drawing with the Apple Pencil. So I'm gonna start off number five. This is an app called Pigment. So this is basically a coloring app. So if you are kind of stressed or you're just going on long journeys, train rides, road trips, or even flights, you just don't wanna spend ages trying to think of something as a sketch, then uh, you can just basically come in and uh, start coloring in some various different um, patterns, pictures, images and that kind of stuff and there's so many categories that this app comes with. So all you have to do is go into pages at the bottom here. Along the top you have so many different tabs and categories so you have something like for example Disney. Now this is the free version so a lot of them are not unlocked unt until you pay a monthly fee. So you can just go on doodles and that kind of stuff so if I just go on something like let's say this first one here on doodles then basically you can just start using the color palette here and start coloring in different things. So now the free version is very limited. So there's probably just a certain number of brushes and that kind of stuff with this app. So you'd have to subscribe. You can also go through various different color palettes by hitting the uh, right navigation icon here. There is tons. Or on the bottom left, you can just cycle through and go straight to the next one. So if for example, I go on to Winter Wonderland, that will open it up there. You can also adjust the uh, level of uh, darkness or lightness of that color you've selected. So you can do that. And then on the right hand side, you have a bar here, which gives you the brush size and then also the uh, opacity as well. So how transparent the color should be. So from here, the first two are free. You have pencil and marker. So these are the only two brushes you can select, but you see the ones here with the diamond icons, those come as part of a subscription package, but you can also just um, play around with the ones that you currently have. This fill bucket one is pretty cool. You can just uh, fill an entire image or segment just by tapping in there. And actually this is quite therapeutic as well, which I kind of like. So if you are going to use this quite a lot, I do recommend that you buy the uh, subscribed version of this app and then start using that with various different amount of pictures. For me, I think Disney is probably uh, the funnest one to do. So that's number five. Number four, this is one of my first drawing apps I downloaded. It's called Paper by a company called 53. So it's very simple. You can create multiple sketchbooks. Um, if you go in there and just open up a blank page, you have your palette down there at the bottom. It's very simple. You have a few brushes, um, a, a few color palettes that you can swipe through. Uh, you have the eraser tool, scissors and guidelines, so very basic. So if I just go ahead, select that ink one. Hello, and then uh, you've got the uh, pencil. Let's maybe do that in uh, red. You can see that this is how it comes out. You've got the uh, highlighter here as well. You've got a thin pencil marker there. You've got a brush to color in with a a pastel watermarked color and then um, there also is the pro version of this app as well which would enable a couple of these other features as well like guidelines and uh, uh, brush strokes and scissoring so you can actually mix some of the colors here in the palette there which is pretty cool like that and uh, you'll be ready to go if you swipe the tray down you can just expand and see the full version of the page make it easier and you can swipe back up you can also add your own custom colors here. So if you select that one, for example, you can double tap and uh, select whichever color you'd like that to be. Let's go for more of a pastel blue, very light, and just use that. And maybe like a, a highlighted one. So that you can do there. And then uh, once you're finished, you can uh, go back and it would be uh, saved automatically. And then you can create a new page. So if you swipe in, 
that will be your book. When you enter, you can just swipe through all the pages you sketched. So there's uh, quite a lot of things you can do. So here's some examples. I like this uh, flicking book type of thing. So there's some pretty cool things you can draw with this. Here's an example of one. If you um, go back, you can swipe through all different pages quite quickly. It's so fluid. And for me, it's, it's just a really simple and awesome sketching tool to have. So number three is uh, one called Autodesk Sketchbook. There is a free version here, so you can just start drawing straight away with a seven day trial. So getting a little bit more advanced. So you have a ton of amount of brushes here on the left hand side panel. You have a few erasers, so you can just select one of that. Maybe select a color from here on the right hand side. All you gotta do is cycle around and then you have your color there. Select something different like that. And then you have your pen. Hello. And then uh, you've got your ink pen, handwriting. You've got your brush. Let's go for maybe a green color. You can do that. So again, tons of option. You have your eraser tool as well. You can brush that out. But then you have some options here at the top. So fill, you can obviously uh, do like a gradient or a fill thing when you have shapes in there. So one thing I like about this is if you want to draw some shapes, you can do that. So if I select the uh, pen tool again, and then maybe draw a circle. There you go, that will outline the color that you've selected. And then you can also go and fill in that. So if I tap that and tap in there, it's filled to green. You have a guideline, so you can use the ruler here if you want to draw some straight edges and that kind of stuff. You can also um, tilt and rotate on different axes as well with the uh, ellipse oval rotating tool there. And then you also have this thing called a predictive stroke. So if you want to create a very curvy line, then you can just have that smoothen out with that tool there. And you have the option to add pictures and text yourself as well as video imports into this sketch file as well. So there is quite um, a lot you can do with the free version of this app. Of course, there's only a seven day trial, so it would require you to pay and sign up once that seven days has expired. But if you wanna quickly clear the um, palette, if you, on the right hand side, you've got the uh, little sketch box there, you click on that and you have various different options there. So if you just click on the option called clear, that will delete everything off that. So this is a really cool tool. Um, I do recommend you play around with that one. Number two, Adobe Sketch. So this is based on Photoshop. So if I just open up a blank project file, it's a very minimal design, which I like. It's not over expanded with so many different options, which you have to figure out. Sometimes when you think Photoshop, you just think an overload of options. But on the left-hand side, you have these five brushes and the eraser, very simple. So if I click on the first one, I can just do like a pen tool. Hello. And then if you tap that pen tool again, it gives you an option to change the color. You can just do that like this. Maybe go for red like that. So size, you can just drag down like that, hold it down and then go up and down. Same with the opacity as well, overflow. If you do a long hold on that, it'll bring up all of the brushes that are available. So you can do this on any of the five brushes there and it'll give you the same list. So let's go for maybe that spray and uh, let's see how that looks. So you have that option. If I just hold it down and maybe choose smudge and maybe I will change the color on that to green. Size, I'll do 66. So you can just do a few smudges there, click back. Maybe try one of these. Maybe change that to a nicer blue. That looks really realistic in terms of using a paintbrush. So quite a few options. And then the bottom one here is the eraser tool. If you select that, you can uh, select the size of this to quickly erase everything. So there we go, everything's gone. And then you have the option to hide this as well from the top right bar on the menu. You have this uh, layered icon that hides the menu bar on the right hand side, which is basically all of your layers. Now the good thing about this is you can add multiple layers on top of this. So you can uh, like Photoshop, remove layers, hide layers and that kind of stuff just to play around with it. So you can do multiple sketches layered on top of each other. If you don't like one, you can delete it and they would appear there on the right hand side layer panel. And you can also change the background color as well if you'd like to, um, as you do with Photoshop. So you can make it transparent or you can actually just keep it as a solid color. 
So this is a, a Adobe Photoshop sketch and it's probably one of the uh, uh, top ones out there right now. My number one is uh, called Sketches. So um, I'll have a link to all of these in the description below as well. So if you just create a new blank sketch. Now this one is compatible with the Apple Pencil. So what that means is if you double tap, it will actually move to the eraser tool as well. So if you double tap, it goes back to your previous brush or tool that you've selected. So this has got a very enhanced amount of uh, options as well. So if you just select some of these, I just feel like it's so smooth. It just looks awesome and uh, it's so easy to use as well. Now, if you wanna change the color, on the bottom right hand side corner, you can see the little blue color there. If you just tap that, it opens up the color bar. You can just swipe up and down for all the top type of colors. But if you hold it, you can actually customize it to any color you'd like. So you can uh, modify that and you can also add this to that panel as well. So maybe I go for a bit of a green color like that, click add and that's added it there. Let's see what other brushes you can use with this. So many different things. So I will select maybe an orange to color that. I like the little sound effects you get as well when you're making this. It actually gives you realistic sound effects of using that particular type of brush. There's a lot of patterns you can do and obviously there's a pro version of this as well. So if you wanted to make patterns, you can do that. Um, there's some tons of like various different things you can do. Uh, obviously you have your razor tool, blend strokes together. So you've got this slice tool. What that does is it will take a piece of that and move it anywhere else you'd like, such like this, which is pretty cool. And then you also have your ruler as well. So you can get the pro version or you can just get the uh, standard straight line and uh, just put that anywhere you like. So that's uh, pretty much everything you can do from this one. Again, there's a few options to record your entire sketch and save it to your gallery and export it. If you do this on the top right hand corner, check the layers, you can add multiple layers, much like the Adobe Photoshop sketch app as well. So that's pretty awesome. So if you click on uh, settings on there, you have options to change the different types of layers that you'd like to convert it to. So that will change obviously the uh, type of coloring you see on the screen as well. So that's about it guys. So I hope that was a really useful rundown of my top favorite drawing and sketching apps on the iPad Pro. If you have any questions or if you use any others that you'd like to recommend and give to all of the other people watching this video, then do drop a comment below. If there's anything else you'd like me to review with the Apple Pencil or in the iPad Pro in general, then uh, let me know as well. So I hope you subscribe, I hope you like this video, and uh, I will catch you guys at the next one. Take care.